A ribosome is a protein-making machine found in the cells of every organism. They are made through a process called ribosome biogenesis. In eukaryotic cells, ribosomes have two parts, the large subunit called the 60S and the small subunit called the 40S. The subunits are made of ribosomal proteins and ribosomal RNA, or rRNA. Assembly factors are proteins that come and go in order to help ribosomal proteins and rRNA come together to correctly form a functional ribosome. Without properly assembled ribosomes, the cell would not be able to make efficiently functioning proteins, which can lead to black man anemia, bone marrow problems, and certain types of cancer. Despite how important and numerous ribosomes are in all organisms, surprisingly little is known about how the ribosome is assembled. What is known so far about the 60S subunit is that it contains over 200 proteins and assembly factors. Ribosomes go through early, middle, and late stages of assembly. In the early stage, proteins, assisted by assembly factors, bind to specific sites on RNA. As more proteins bind in the middle and late stages, conformational changes occur that make the pre-ribosome more stable. Experiments show that if certain ribosomal proteins or assembly factors do not bind correctly or are not present, the ribosome does not finish its assembly. Experiments also suggest that the most crucial step of ribosome assembly occur in the late stage. Most notably, in the late stage of assembly, the central protuberance, which is part of the 60S ribosome that juts out of the top, must rotate 180 degrees before the 60S and 40S can come together. It is not known exactly which ribosomal proteins or assembly factors are responsible for this essential step, but it is speculated that the L21 ribosomal protein and the NOG2 and RSA4 assembly factors may play a crucial role, mostly because of their proximity to the base of the central protuberance. depression. Now we've depleted the proteins from the cell. We'll check out the results on the STS gel. Transfer gel of paper, a western blot. This helps us to see the proteins we've got. By binding antibodies to these proteins we can see the composition of the pre-ribosome G. Understanding ribosome assembly is our goal. Thank you for listening, Joe Wayne Cole.